you mentioned Magnus and Karyakin. Uh, and I just wonder if you have ideas, uh, thoughts about uh, the fact that he was originally a qualifier for the candidates tournament and was disqualified um, by FIDE for breaching his code of ethics about uh, related to his support for uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, does that ever seep into the the games that you play over the board, the the geopolitics? the actual military conflict of it all. Do you feel the pressure of that? Because there's battles between nations. Nepo's, uh, you know, Russian, there's there's uh, America, there's, I mean, every nation is in some profound way represented on the chessboard. Right. I've I've never really felt that. I think actually for me, it's, it's very eye-opening to realize how difficult it is for a lot of the Russian chess players right now to play because of the situation, even Nepo for that matter. I remember... When we were in St. Louis, he he essentially has to bring cash because obviously Russia's cut off from Swift. No, no credit cards work. So if these Russians don't have cash, they can't play. And I know a lot of them have fled the country just to try and keep their chess career going. So it's it's a very, very, very tough situation for them, obviously, for the Ukrainians who are suffering. Um, it's it's really, really bad. Do you know if Nepo does, has he talked? I haven't seen. Has he talked about? Uh, the politics, the the geopolitics of it all. I I don't think he really has. I I mean I I feel like most players try to avoid talking about. It. I think it's very difficult. I remember when I was in St. Louis, there was another Russian player, Peter Savidler, and I I, I basically asked him. He's like, "Don't get me started because I I can't. I just can't talk about it." Um. So I I think most of them are probably on the other side of the spectrum. I don't think they're probably supportive of what is going on right now. So it's it's very it's a very 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 difficult situation, but I don't really feel like that manifests itself in actual like tensions when I play against like the Russian players. I mean, maybe when I was younger playing certain events, the the one country that I felt like maybe it actually I felt some tension. I really wanted to go out of my way to win against was against the Chinese. Perhaps that is maybe the one time I felt something along those lines. Um, but generally, I feel like we treat the players as individuals. It's not about the country they represent.